From the NZ Drummer Podcast and andrewrooneydrums.com, it's the student's guide to drum lessons. Here are your hosts, Chris Dawson and me, Andrew Rooney. And we're back. Hi. My voice was like an octave deeper for that, eh? It's deeper than mine. (laughs) (laughs) Squeaky doors and over there. (laughs) No, it's the the chair. (laughs) All right, man. So we thought it might be nice to wrap up some general thoughts on yeah, teaching and absolutely. you know some maybe common questions that we get asked. Mm. Anything you want to finish yeah, off with? I think that one of the ones that is how long is it going to take me to get good or from the parent's perspective, how long is it going to be before my child becomes good? And whatever that good is, who knows what good is? Is good just to play a song? Is good to get into a band? Is good to become well-known as a artist? You know, so, and that's where it's very, very hard to actually yeah. answer that question. Was like, how long is a piece of string? I practiced a lot. I realized what it was that I wanted to do. I had a job at the time. I left the job, and I just turned my work day into my practice day. So that was basically straight out of the gate. From that point, I was practicing eight hours a day. And then after a couple of weeks of practicing eight hours a day, I said to myself, what was it that I used to do after that eight hours? When I came back from work, I would practice drums, usually for two or three hours or four hours or five hours or whatever I could do. So I ended up practicing more. So sometimes I was being stupid and practicing 12 hours a day. And it was like, Mm -hmm. there was a lot of practice. And so I mentioned this to my students about how much practice you can do. I think about how many hours like a, say, Dennis Chambers has done. Or, or those sort of things. And we've talked briefly before about the 10,000-hour rule, all that sort of stuff. Yep. So I always mention things like, okay, you need to be doing, at the beginning, start off with 10 minutes a day. Just yep. do 10 minutes a day. See if you can get that happening. And then get further and further into it. I always like to mention as well about the enjoyment factor, which we've talked about. Oh, yeah. So you've got to enjoy what it is you're doing. If you're not enjoying it, you're not going to pursue it at all. No. You know, If you are going to do, say, half an hour practice. On the things that I want you to do, practice that for half of that. So a quarter of an hour, you practice your rudiments, your sticking, maybe the song that we're working on. And then the other quarter of an hour, you play whatever you want. Put on a set of headphones, play along to whatever music you can. It doesn't matter if it's right. You need to play. You need to be on Mm. the kit. You just got to get on there. It's going to take you years. It's not going to be, Yep. you know, it's not Pantene. Maybe it is Pantene. What is the Pantene thing? And it won't, won't happen, happen overnight, overnight, but it will happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the frustrating thing is you don't know when it's happened either. That's right. All of a sudden, out of the blue, people just start saying, hey, man. That's right. You sound really good. And then you think, oh, how is that like maybe with, that worked. With rock beat number one, isn't that, uh, that was a, a moment for me. I used to we'd play that basic rock beat for quite a few years. And then it was like at this one time I was playing I'd, I can't remember what I'd been doing. I was just practicing. I think I might have been thinking, I need to nail this beat mm. because I'm not, I don't think I'm playing it well enough. Yep. Thinking about the concepts of how you can play that one beat differently, you know, bass drum heavy, snare drum heavy, hi hat heavy, or all of them all at the same volume or whatever. And I was working on that concept, playing, you know, the bass drum real heavy, mm. and then worked on that, would play for maybe 30 minutes just playing like that. Wow. And then 30 minutes playing the next one, 30 minutes playing the other, next one, that sort of thing. And then um, went to the gig and people noticed it. Yeah. And I was like going, right, I've figured it out. Hard work pays I've, off. I've eh? got to sit down and every beat that I want to play, I have to spend that amount of time playing the beat. And so which each cover song that Ava did, it's like, okay, I know the structure of the song. Now I've got to get that beat and I've got to play it over and over again, mm. over and over again to it feels good. Because it's got a feeling, right? That's, That's that, right. That feeling. And so trying to mention this to the parents, you know, uh, but break it down a lot, going, okay, you could probably play a song within a month. You can get through it. You can get through a Start song. Start to finish. But – there's a lot more to do it. To, yeah. to, you know, than that's just the old Phil song. Rudd thing, isn't it? Oh, exactly. I can do that. Yeah, that's right. But you don't sound anything like Phil Rudd. You don't sound, yeah. yeah. Or, or the amount of people that say, I can play Smoke on the Water on guitar or something like that. But they've only play that first, the intro part. It's like, <laughs> you don't know anything about the rest of the song. It's like, yeah. you've scratched the surface, but it's going to take a lot longer. Mm. And hopefully, as a teacher, you know, we, we inspire them enough and then they... They hopefully get the bug, just like what I'm sure that you did and I definitely did. You know, Mm. you get the bug and you just can't stop 
wanting to know. Yeah, exactly. You know? And we well, love it when you get those students and they just, they, they get it all of a sudden mm. and then they come to you with like, this is what I did, mm. you know, rather than having to be prompted. So what did you do this week? Oh, you know, I didn't have much time this week. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. A lot of people are just going to shake their heads at even the thought of practicing eight to 12 hours a day. And I don't think we're advising no. anybody should be doing that or yeah. especially, you know, young kids mm. or whatever. I totally agree. Um, has to be fun. Has that to is be. the first thing yeah. I'm ensure. I hope the drum lessons here are a lot of fun and you're learning stuff and we're learning your favorite songs. That's amazing, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, there's just no avoiding the work. It's got to be done. And thinking back when we previously spoke about teachers that we had and I was really on a search for the perfect teacher mm. who could show me a secret or the secret, an exercise that was going to get me really fast or this was going to fast track me to this. That went on for years until I realized that I can't outsource the actual work. Yeah. A lot of the time, people would just give me, different teachers would give me the same exercise. You go, why are they and giving me why, the same thing? You know, that didn't work with the last guy. <laughs> um, and it's just purely because I wasn't putting in the time. That's right. A good way to know if you're on the right track, I guess, is to record yourself, have a listen back. I record all my students, record songs and all that kind of thing, and it's awesome. And the other one that I think is so key is slowing things down. Yeah. Again, it's just not rocket science, and we hear this over and over, mm. but we ignore it. Not, I was going to say 99%. 100% of my students play things too fast. They do. Every, like I, you have those two tempos, right? You've got your <laughs> slow and then my slow. <laughs> that's what you say to yeah. them. Okay, that's great. Now play my slow. Mm. And they go, ooh, I can't do that. And then they ultimately will speed up again. So let's look at why you can't do that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, it's just amazing what happens. And you eventually get it down to literally right, yep, left, and then it's like, well, you just did it. That's right. Now we've got something to actually work with here. Yeah, you can, yeah. It's increase the speed slowly. Mm. Yeah. There's definitely no rush, right? No, this, it's not a race. It's certainly not a race. I think that maybe you do feel like that sometimes. Though you, you go, well, I'm looking at, you know, whatever famous drummer it is, and you, and you go, well, they're there now. You know, yeah. so I've got to be there now. Instagram you know? shred, yeah, exactly. And it's like, and oh, the yeah, the Instagram shred, right? We, we I think we may have touched on that some uh, another another podcast <laughs> about how how many times did they record that yeah. before they got to the the actual one that they wanted that you know? one fill that one fill, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. So it's not it's not true. No, you know, it's not the real it's a bit thing. of an illusion. Yeah. Exactly. And, yeah, we've talked before as well about how useful that is anyway. That's right. Even if you can play it. Exactly. This incredibly complicated film <laughs> that will lose the entire band. Maybe one other thing mm. that I always had confused was I wanted to get good to get into the band. Right. It should be <laughs> the exact opposite. Get into a band. Yeah. And then you'll good. get good. Yeah, 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 that's right. You can't wait, I don't think. No. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I, it's another one that I'll mention to students as well. Get yourself into a band. Just get your friends together and mm. play badly together. That's great. Yeah. It happened to heaps of bands, you know. Um, Nirvana was one. I think they garage band, right? Yeah, they were. They said they were awful. <laughs> Completely awful. And yeah. then, you know, then it happened. But it's not to say that it will happen, but you need to be interacting with people. You, you need know? to be awful. Yeah, yeah you do. Because you're going to be awful. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. may as well just get it out of the way. Yeah, you've got to be awful at some point. Chris, where can we find you if anyone did want to reach out? and? Well, let me see now. You could uh, email me, if you like, on chris.jazzdrama at gmail.com. That would be great. Beautiful. Um, and uh, how about you, Andrew Rooney? Well, thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, you can hit me up at andrewrooneydrums.com or andrewrooneydrums at gmail.com. I might give you a call. Yeah? Yeah. Come in and work on some little things. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful um, yeah hopefully this has been formative and helpful and maybe something a little bit different for yeah, the podcast something absolutely. new absolutely any questions just hit us up oh actually hit Chris up yeah hit me up <laughs> then I'll pass you on to Andrew <laughs> awesome take it easy yeah, see and you. see you next time